Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Um, got a late start today, had to run into work. So it's about 12-ish, just getting to the boat ramp. And the boat ramp is like crazy flooded, like the water is over the ramp into the parking lot. Which the only other time I've seen it like that way is after a hurricane. But we haven't had a hurricane recently, so I'm not sure why it's so high. Kayla, have you ever seen anything like this before? No, never. Look how high that boat is. <laughs> Like, he's here to us right now. It's crazy. Like, he could, I don't know, I feel like he'd almost run into the dock, you know, because the water is just, like, if you look, usually there's a ramp going from, like, the dock down, say the dock, going kind of from, from the parking lot area down to the, down to the dock. But that ramp is completely flat right now. That ramp is dead. Flat. There's no angle. Normally there's an angle. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Where it is, there are some monster sharks in the water up in the river. We're gonna see if that's true. We're gonna see if we can catch one of them guys. Oh, I know it's true. Yeah, that's true. I, I know it's true yeah. too, but we're gonna try and get it on camera. <laughs> we're gonna get on camera. <laughs> I know guys have had them bit off. I'm pretty sure we've had some of ours bit off. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah. And bull sharks, you know, they do say can uh, breathe fresh water. Mm -hmm. What was interesting is Last week when we were out, we actually got a pretty good size hammerhead. I didn't know they'd be that far back in the river. So, all right, guys, see if we can get in the bo the boat in the water and then go fish and catch some fish. All right, guys. Made it in the water, no problem. Good job. High fives, everyone. There's a uh, Chad. Right there. Yeah, hey, Buck Rogers. We don't have any of Buck Rogers. Go ahead, uh, Buck Rogers. Hey, buddy, come right up where I was. We left him biting for you. 10-4, I appreciate the tip. We'll give it a try. Yes, sir. Catch him up. Stand by. We'll do. If you need anything, let me know. Yeah, where's that? Roughly over here. Well, that's, that's good. I appreciate uh, a lot of the guys. Chad, Captain Chad has a lot of boats with Team Buck Rogers. Has four now. Joe VT does one a lot of times. Um, that was really good. They're all Nice guys, so appreciate the tip. Mow it. Grab. Um, mix it up. I gotta mow it out the bag. Last time we went fishing for bull red, the only thing we caught on a crab was an anchor. Right. <laughs> we got a fresh crab. He is alive this time. I think that hurt us yeah. last time. Not having a fresh crab. Okay. Well, I think it's, it's kind of like this. I mean, think about it like you can't eat, like people can't eat dead crab because they, they poison. You have to cook them alive. You have to catch them alive and put them immediately in boiling water. I think as soon as they die, you know, same thing with like when you watch Deadly's Catch, you know, they got to have the crab alive. As soon as they die, it's not like fish. You can't take a dead fish and you can take a dead fish and play it. But a dead crab, I think it just kind of poisons and fish, I guess, don't like it. So what I do, guys, what I've been trying um, actually, I've been trying these clamps. I don't like these clamps for kingfish, but for redfish and braid, the clamps like these seem to do better than my other clips, which I just have things like that. Uh, all right, guys, fish on. I'm not sure how he's in relation to you, Dad. Uh. I think you're okay. You got the net? I'll get it. All right. Is that our custom net? <laughs> it's our good net, I think. Oh yeah, I got a leader. Grandpa. Right. Yep. Oh yeah. He's pretty, yeah. All right. Nice. Ah, there we go. That's a 
good fish. Very pretty. Very good copper color. 37 at the fork. Yep. You need the motors up? I don't care, you might be coming back. You want the motors up? Yeah. No, you're good. That cush it fell, can you, you need me to grab it? There you go. <laughs> you know, this is too okay. much. Okay, let's give her some space. Clear the line. Hey, he's up. Oh, hold on now. Uh, yeah, reel that quick, we're gonna. No, I can't. No, 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 no. There we go. Good job, Kevin. Thank you. Fish on. There you go. Well, uh, Team Bug Rogers wasn't kidding. They're biting here. That was cut mullet. Where were these last week then? Yeah. First fish on cut mullet, the other two were on crabs. Had a little rough start. We'll have a smoother operation. All comes down to prep. Getting stuff out of the way so you can catch this fish in peace. Got him. Looks like he's hooked very good. About the time you get one released, and I'll jam you. Hey. So pick him up by the weight. Do what? Pick him up by the weight. Uh -huh. And I hold him here so he's level. Uh -huh. He can get a little bit of air, uh -huh. kind of refresh. Bigger fish like this, I doubled the weight. Hear that drum? That's why they call them red drum. So now I just have slack. Just gonna let it go. Takes them down. Just let it feed off the yo yo. It just kind of slacked off, so. Just takes a little. Fish is already off. It's kind of because it's a big fish and a strong current. I think I've got like around three pounds, maybe, between all that weight. So it's a little bit of a pull. Like right now, it's not the fish; it's the the weight. Cuban yo is nice. Keeps it under control, and it feeds off nicely when you're letting the fish down. You don't have to let the fish all the way down the bottom. Just uh. I think they said uh, 50 feet, but I've got, I think I got like 150 feet on here, so I can let them down plenty far. Get some air going through them and the uh, squeezes the pressure back on the air bladder and they can swim away nice and safe. The vending tool still does work. You know, it's still a good way. It's, it's worked for years and really improved the conservation. This is the next uh, flavor of the month for the government, I guess, <laughs> whatever. They both work, so I'm just practicing now. Uh oh. There we go, guys. Uh oh, that yeah. one too. This is double. Let me get this Thank. Yeah. Okay, we got a double header. We have a race, guys. We have a race. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you. Mine's, mine's. What the heck? Where's mine? Yeah. How's it in there? Can you go? Ah, uh, no, I can't tell. Can you go over? Ah, uh, there we go. Looks like he's coming right at us. 
Did you see that? <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I got leader. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, they're about the same size. Watch an anchor line. That boat's close. <laughs> okay. Okay. They had a rod up there. Yeah, I spread them out because we're sideways in the current. That's a good idea. Find the fish, you make it look easy. Yeah. You, Jeremy. It's taking a lot of line. Yeah, it makes it look like you're struggling. I think you make it look easy too, Kayla. I don't know. I don't know how it looks, but I know how it feels. <laughs> uh oh. I'll well, take you, Kayla. Go ahead. I'll... See on. I tell you, he's on. Yeah. Another double <laughs> Total opposite of last weekend. Okay. Um, <laughs> Dang. You got this one? First, yeah, for now. All right. Good job. This is our second double. Back to back doubles. Yep. It's a good fish. We might be the world director there, then. Okay. Huh? We might be the director there. Nah, he's just a fighter. There he is. Oh man. So is that number seven? Yeah. Then he's gonna lip him. Yeah. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. leading. the pack. The thing is, that should have been Jeremy's fish. It's <laughs> a lot of fish, Kayla. Nice, nice one. Good job. Is he on? Yeah. Oh, Got leader. Yeah. That one's got some spots. Thanks. You probably would have won the spot category, maybe. Thirty-nine. Spotty fish. All right, guys. Uh, current uh, switched around, so we're facing that way, which is which is good. We actually did good, even when it was kind of slack in the spot. It was kind of weird change, but we catch fish all day for the most part. We had a little bit of slack part, but yeah, it's been good. I mean, we've been here a couple hours and had what nine or ten fish. Nine. Nine. So, a lot better than it was last week. There we go. Got it. I don't think. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Pulling pretty good. Is that number nine, Jimmy? Yep, fish number nine. with us in the in the in that 39 inch category yep okay guys um i want to go over kind of share with you the tackle we're using you know we're catching redfish but this isn't like probably the typical redfish tackle you think of you're not using a light spinner and casting not not light tackle like that this is heavy stuff we're using the same equipment we would use if we were going offshore bottom fishing for snapper and, and grouper and stuff like that um We've got a variety of reels because it's just kind of where we find them. Get a lot on Craigslist. You know, we're not just buying a whole new set. 
So uh, one we really like are the Pin Fathoms. They're small, lightweight, two-speed um, lever drags. Big, big deal, I like that if I get the choice. Um, also have some Pin Internationals and some old school four alts. Um, but the key, uh oh, there we go. Later. Another thirty nine. Another thirty nine. Pretty copper color. Okay, so where were we? Yeah, so we're using our bottom rods. Uh, most of our rods are these Tiger Light jigging rods, and we've got these uh, Pin Fathom um, anywhere from a 15 to 25. They got good heavy drags. You don't need a, a physically big reel nowadays. You can get a nice small lightweight rod and reel uh, that catches big fish. So our lines, at, <clears throat> so our lines at least 65 pound braid. Um, some even have 80 and, and bigger. Um, I like to put a little leader, 60 or 80 pound floor or leader, um, going up to my, my uh, rig. If I'm doing just a standalone rig, it's a three-way swivel, we put a big sinker on, the current's running. We can do either a uh, 16 or sometimes we'll double it up, we'll, you know, we'll have 20, 24 ounces on this little dropper loop. We'll have another maybe two and a half, three feet of a uh, 60, 80 pound line to an eight alt maybe seven, eight, nine alt circle hook. Always using circle hooks. The uh, rig that we put on our downrigger, it's just a straight, um, it's not a three-way swivel. There's just a swivel, no weight, just a little tiny weight right here. But the downrigger, we clip it into that and that's what takes it down. Uh, yeah, heavy tackle, I do have some heavy spinners, heavy braid. Um, and we'll use our downriggers to get it down. You don't need them, you can just do these three-way swivels with a little weight on the bank sinker just toss them out. We'll use a uh, crab. If you can get live crab, that's good. Uh, fresher crab seems better. A uh, cut mullet, a big live mullet is good. Um, different cut baits. I've done them on the uh, fish bites before. Those have uh, caught fish, so not too particular. Just get a, get a few baits down there. Make sure they get to the bottom. That is important. Um, you have plenty of weight to get them down there. Um, don't really have a favorite tide. I like the tide to be moving generally and um, just kind of get out there in some, some spots and give it a try, you know. Um, be patient, let the, let the fish come through and catch, catch them up. Um, so that's all there is to it. If you guys got any other questions about my gear, uh, which one I like more or something like that, I'd be happy to tell you. But you can make uh, a lot of things work. It does have to be big and heavy, you know, your lightweight stuff. You know, you've got a lot of current, and these are just physically big fish. So, besides the fact that they're really big, strong fish, you got to fight the current and get them up. So, you need a heavy rod. You know, you could catch fish like that. You know, maybe if there wasn't current on lighter tackle, but out here, get a big rod and get them up quick, especially if there are sharks around. So, yeah. All right, guys, another great day on the real hazardous. 11 big bull reds in less than three hours. Um, fresh bait was the ticket. It was rolling, everybody did good. <laughs> Kayla caught the biggest and the most. Very, very uh, action-packed. I kind of mm -hmm. wonder if we were catching the same fish over <laughs> and over, because they were like either 37 or 39. 37 or 39. If they went for the spots, we would have thought they were the same fish. That's true, and we had double header, so we know there are yeah. at least two at different least fish. Two fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just an amazing day out there on the water. Didn't get here till what? Start fishing about one, probably. Yeah. And we were a late done, morning. Yeah, about three, what, three thirty? We were done. Yep. So, um, yeah, overall it was a great day. Yeah, nice short yeah. day, pretty much back to back. The weather was fantastic, nice and not hot, but yeah. cool. Any tips for manhandling those big fish, Kayla? Uh, use a sea cushion. Right. <laughs> that helps. Oh, and we live, we lost our big net. So that little issue. We'll ha yeah, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to fix that that issue and get us another one. But yeah. yeah. That was the only uh, only hiccup in the whole day. Yeah, the first few 
first few catches are pretty rough, but yeah. after that, you got it together. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share, and we'll see you on the next video.